Okay. Oh, I'm so high up. Wait. <laughs> oh, really? More food? Oh, Can I come down here? Go see if there's more food. Hey, baby. Right. Mom, oh, my God. Here. I look like I'm a giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll start with here. the. Oh, thanks. There you go. Oh. Their thoughts on the game. Uh, and then we'll open it up to questions. So, Alex, you go ahead and start. And then, Sophia. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I think that there is there's a lot of positives to take take away from this game uh, coming back twice. Uh, just kind of being able to shift formations um, as well, you know, coming into more of a five back this game. Uh, but I, you know, I don't think we we're at our best today necessarily. But um, just the will to fight back was um, was you know I think in general the positive to take away. And, um, and I think we you know we could have uh kind of gotten in behind more than we did um i definitely a good amount of offside calls um so i think uh we could have adjusted a little more given that they were um they were kind of leaving so much space in behind open i mean yeah i can just agree with everything alex said um and uh, that we could come out with one point was really strong in the end of the game um, I even think that we could have come out with three points. I think we was pushing um, a lot in the end of the game. Uh, yeah. All right, Hector, we'll start with you and then two balls and a mic. Um, uh, this is the longest um, road trip of the season. How beneficial do you think it is now getting this out of the way and having you guys ready for the rest of the season now? Yeah, I think uh, at home we just, you know, we feel the 12th man. Okay, can I talk? Can I talk? And, uh, and with our pitch, I think we're able to really um, play the game that we want to. Hold on, baby. Hold on, can I finish? Yeah. So having this four away game streak was really tough for us, but um, we're definitely happy to be back at home um, on Wednesday. So we're looking forward to being back in front of our fans and kind of feeling that energy. Thank you. Two balls and a mic. How's it going? Um, so can you stop us and walk us through that uh, last minute equalizer? Sophia, you grab a great pass, you make a run. You take an extra extra step to cross it over to Alex and Alex uh, getting that ball in. What was the, uh, you know, what was the feeling getting rewarded after a hard fought game like this? I think it was like obviously we was down uh, two to one and uh, to be able to score that two so was important to go home with at least one point and uh, yeah Alex is a real goal scorer and show that once again so yeah happy about her performance but also the the point we got sorry about that <laughs> Okay, um, I'll, I'll follow it up a little bit. Obviously, I'm here with the background of San Diego Wave. I'm here at the watch party in San Diego. A lot of people coming out. Uh, can you tell us what you guys' feelings are about coming back home and playing after such a long road stint? Uh, you can go. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said before, like we're just really excited to get back in front of our home fans. Um, it's been way too long. Um, I don't ever want four away games in a row again. Um, you know, not only was it tough on our legs and a lot of miles um, flying around the country, but um, our fans give us energy. Um, we want to kind of be able to um, feed off of that and, you know, continue to get wins in front of our home fans. So we're very, very happy to be back this week. Safe travel. Thank you. Tom? Yes, uh, Sophia. As a forward, can you appreciate what Alex is doing? She has eight goals in seven games. Uh, your thoughts on what she's been doing? Uh, and she's not doing it by herself. She's had some great help. Yeah, of course. Like, I know her since many years play against her. I know she's an amazing player who scores a lot of goals. And I'm really happy to have a player of her caliber in my team. Uh, so I'm super happy to play with her and that she is keep on scoring goals for us. But I think it's a really important point that you made is just like, I like the reason I'm getting these goals is because 
you know, we're getting shots in the 18 yard box, you know, we're, you know, we're forcing handballs from opponents. Um, Sophia is like making amazing crosses and the ball just like lays up for me. So um, I, I think just like the waves of attack that we've had have given us more opportunities in the box to kind of, you know, really put these, put these goals away. Uh, to your point, when there was an injury stoppage in the first half, uh, you guys were very prepared when it ended. I, I can't remember who made the pass. Maybe it was McNabb. Uh, long pass to you that created the corner kick, which led to the foul. Uh, what happened there? With the foul in particular? Well, uh, when you were able to create the corner kick, I think you and uh, some, someone saw you and made the long pass. That looked like good stuff. Yeah, thank you. It probably was good stuff. I can't recall though. You could probably remember more than me. Um, but all I know is, you know, balls bouncing. Taylor, you know, gets a shot off, and we have players around the ball. That's the thing is, we have players in good positions to win that second ball and get a first shot, second shot, third shot. So um, that's what creates, um, you know, defenders to be in vulnerable vulnerable positions, and that's what we've been able to do for for many games this season. Thank you. Great. Any final questions? Just raise your virtual hand. Back with Casey. She's going to give us her thoughts and then questions. Um, yeah, probably one of our poorest performances yet as a collective. Um, and I, that starts with me in terms of the setup of the team. So I'll look at that deeply. You had a Wednesday. We need to react and recover. Obviously, we've got a really tough game Wednesday against Portland. Um, but I have to credit the resilience and the carrots to get a point out of today when arguably we could have been out, out of the game uh, long before. So real credit to the team, the carrots are shown to, to take a point from here. Uh, I thought they caused us real problems up top tonight with their front two. Um, so yeah, something we need to look at, analyze and, and improve uh, very quickly ahead of Wednesday. All right, Stephanie and then Hector. Hi, hey Coach. Um, my first question is, what are you going to do to improve the defending on the set pieces? Work. Change the setup and look at what we're doing because you know, it's three goals in two games you've conceded um, and pretty much identical two goals, really. So um, we need to do some work on the field. We need to look at the setup. We need to look at how we address that and how we give the players the best possible chance to to defend better in them situations. So that's going to take um, work on the training field. Okay. And my second question is, is that Naomi Gurma put in an absolutely excellent shift tonight. And I was just wondering, um, what have you been doing to work with her to the point where, you know, she doesn't play like a rookie, she plays like a vet and she's been doing so well in the league so far? That's full credit to Naomi. You know, she's extremely coachable. She came in like that, you know, she's just got better and better every week. Um, so yeah, it's, she's a, a very mature player in her approach. She's game understanding is, is excellent. Um, so that's credit to her and her hard work, her coachability and, and how much attention she pays to the detail. So yeah, we're very, very lucky that we have her. Thank you. Hector. Yeah, coach, uh, congratulations, you know, on a tough point at the end, dramatic. Uh, how do you assess the team's performance? over this four game trip and how do you expect the team to re respond after these four games? Four games? Uh, the four game road trip. Right, yeah, obviously it's tough, isn't it? You know, I don't think there's other teams that have had these kind of mileage put in, but I look at it and I go, we took a, a massive three points at, at Courage. Yeah, we were disappointed to lose on the road, we took a point here. Um, so yeah, lots to learn. You know, I think people forget we are an expansion team. Um, we're going to face these challenges. We're going to have to learn very quickly. It's I don't like excuses. I'm not making excuses. We've got a good team, a good roster and a good squad. Um, so I need to look at how I set the team up to give them the best possible chance. That starts with me. Um, so I'll, I'll analyse that deeply um, and I'll analyse how we can improve. We've got to do that quickly because we have two home games now in quick succession against two very good teams. Thank you. Morgan? Hey, Coach. Um, Kaylee Real and Abby Dahlkemper have each gotten some playing time playing next to Naomi. What do you think each of them offer differently from each other that allows for you to interchange them for certain games? 
it's not really about interchanging. Abby's not available. Um, so, you know, Abby's been unavailable for many minutes this season due to injury, which has been unfortunate. She's got international World Cup experience. And I thought Kaylee Reels would come in and done an excellent job um, at times. And, you know, they're, they're slightly different players, but, um, you know, they've complimented Nay in different times. But unfortunately, Nay, um, Abby's not been available for the amount of minutes that we would have liked. But hopefully over the next kind of two to three weeks, we can get her back fit and, and get her back playing again. Thank you. Jerry, and then two balls and a mic. Hey, coach. Um, just wanted to say, I guess, good job pulling out um, at least one point there. But um, I guess you made some changes in the midfield from the from the last game, and we seem to get a little bit more of a push. Uh, just wanted to see if you could give us some of your thoughts on that. Yeah, we changed the system. They play two forwards, so I didn't want to play four at the back because I thought we'd have redundant fullbacks. So we played three at the back, knowing that we'd have to cope with two very good forwards, um, try and get our wing backs to give us the whip. And then we played almost two tens and, and two underneath to, to try and connect and play and create more attacking opportunities. Um, you know, we probably didn't, didn't, didn't cause enough threat, didn't control the ball enough to cause enough threat. Um, and we allowed them in the game. So, um, yeah, it was a disappointing performance, um, but lots to learn from, lots to grow from. Um, like I say, huge character to take a point in arguably a situation where we could have took none. So, yeah, it was, and we had to change things at half time because we weren't getting, you know, what we needed in terms of advanced runs and, and getting in behind their back line. But we did that. We looked way more threatening than once we started to do that, but it took too long in the game for us to do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Two balls and a mic. Um. Hi, how's it going, Coach? Um, just want to talk a little bit about, obviously, this road trip coming to an end. Uh, could you speak to the maybe competitive advantage now that you have here at home at Torero? You've been seeing some other teams away and the support that they get. Do you feel like you have an extra edge here in San Diego? Uh, and are you looking forward to that, especially yourself and the players? We love being at home. We've got our home fans, our home crowd behind us. It's our stadium. You know, I think we've generally performed reasonably well there. Um, we are coming off the back of a lot of travel. We know that, but we've got to bounce now. We've got to cover well, and we've got to put in a good performance on Wednesday at home. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm confident that we can do that. You know, this is a strong group. They'll be disappointed tonight, knowing that we can play better. Um, but you know, they'll they'll build confidence. The fact that they've they've not come away with with nothing, which is important. And then here in San Diego at the watch party, we just heard about an elevator incident. Everything okay with that, Coach? Yeah, that was me. Just took forever. We're all yeah, good, though. Yeah. Everyone's fine. Everyone's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Appreciate it. Safe travel. Thank you. Tom? Alex Morgan has eight goals in seven games. Coach, uh, your thoughts on her performance? Again, that, that ability to score goals, you know, and – we, we do need other people to, to start contributing. It's important. You know, we can't rely on one player, but at the same time, I'm thankful she's in our team and that she's healthy, happy, scoring goals and playing well. So, you know, we have to be pleased with her contribution again tonight, another couple of goals. And But we, need, we do need to create more and get more players in positions to score goals to contribute with her. The other question was on their first goal. Uh, can you give us a sense on how the person who kicked the ball ends up making a free run. Uh, was that a, a new play they used that maybe you guys hadn't seen? Uh, I think it, uh, we need to look at our setup, Tom, in terms of that um, short corner. Um, you know, we left one player isolated and it, it caused us a problem. So something we'll assess the staff and look at and, and address and make sure that we, we change that so that we don't have that issue again. Thank you. All right, we have time for one last question. Uh, anyone who hasn't gone yet? All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, two balls and a mic. Are you still? Is your hand? All right. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Safe travels, coach. Thank you. Thank you.